come in, I just have a few announcements for you guys. Tonight at the church here at 6 o'clock, we will have prayer meeting. Um, please, please plan to come out and be a part of prayer meeting. A, a church that comes together in prayer is a church that has power and a church that sees growth and progress. So please plan to join us for prayer meeting tonight here at the church at 6 o'clock. On Friday, the 22nd, this coming Friday, will be the Section 4 Indiana Youth Overflow Rally. That will be at Shiloh Temple at 7.30. We are taking the youth to that. So um, if you don't have anything going on on Friday and you want to come out and support Section 4, please come out to Shiloh at 7.30. On Saturday, the 23rd, we will have our church Lark, Lark Ranch trip. Um, we are going to plan to meet down there at 5 o'clock. People are kind of coming from all different places. So if you want a carpool, we can kind of try to come up with a good place. Let Andrew or I know we can go at the same time. Um, but we're going to try to plan to be there about 5 o'clock Saturday evening at Lark Ranch. And we are going to the Lagodi location. October 30th will be Trunk or Treat. So we're excited for Trunk or Treat. Please um, sign up on the app. There is a sign up sheet where you can let us know that you're gonna do a trunk so that way we can know kind of how many we have. Um, we need as many people as possible to do that. So just worship with us today as we transition into the second part of our service. Okay, now can you hear me? Praise the Lord. All right, so pastor asked me to lead us in the service. I was a little hesitant at first, but uh, I felt like God told me it's about time. I'm uh, 34 years old. I was baptized, got the Holy Ghost when I was five. And so, yeah, it's about time that I let God use me. And uh, I'm just thankful that he's never gave up on me and he's always been there, even when I've messed up. So... Yes, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, uh, if you guys want to pray, we're going to uh, go into the service now. Lord Jesus, I ask you to move in this service today, Lord Jesus. Lord, touch us as we sing, Lord Jesus. Lord, touch pastors. He brings us to word, Lord. Open up our hearts and minds and receive your word, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you are great and greatly to be praised, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. Jesus, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's worship. If you step out, make some room. You can stay in your seat, whatever you'd like. Step out and we've come to worship him today. Man, he's been good. He's an awesome savior. He's given us breath today. If that's the only thing we have is breath, then he's given us another day to live for him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just lift our hands together. Lord, here we are, God. Give us clean hands, Lord. Forgive us, Jesus, that we come into your presence in the name of Jesus. I've lived stories that have proved your faithfulness. Haven't you? I've seen miracles my mind can't comprehend. Ooh. There is beauty in what I can't understand. Jesus, it's you. Jesus, it's you. And I believe you're a wonder-working God. Thank you, Jesus. You're a wonder-working God. All the miracles I've seen are too good to not believe. You're the wonder-working God, and you heal because you love. Oh, the miracles we'll see are too good to not believe. Too good to not believe. Isn't he too good to not believe? I believe. I believe. I can't 
can't resurrect a man with my own hands. Just the mention of your name. Ooh, the name of Jesus can raise the dead. So all the glory to you. Yes, it's you, Jesus. Jesus, it's you. Oh, Jesus, it's you. You're the wonder-working God, you're the wonder-working God, all the miracles I see, to those and I believe, you're the wonder-working God, yes. and you heal because you love, all the miracles I see, you're too good to die.
you must believe. Ooh, I believe. And there's a lot of people in here that believe today. That means you can get your miracle here today. Hallelujah. I believe, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Still in your hands, this is my confidence. You've never failed me yet. I've seen you move, you move the mountains, and I believe again, I believe to it again. He made a way when there was no way, and I believe I see you do it again. See you go home. If you'd like to be anointed with oil, if you'd like to be prayed for, would you come forward? Right now, we'll anoint you and pray in Jesus' name.
let's worship the Lord today. Everybody lift your voice all over the place today. He's worthy. He's worthy. Let's go to the word of the Lord today. Don't shut down. Don't sit down on the Lord. Hallelujah. Let that spirit ride high for a little while. In the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Stand with me for the reading of the word today. Out of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18 I'm going to take the second part of that scripture but be filled with the spirit amen anybody need to be filled with the spirit hallelujah I'm talking about not just having the Holy Ghost but I'm talking about the Holy Ghost is bubbling out overflowing Holy Ghost move Holy Ghost move anybody want a Holy Ghost move come on let's be apostolic today respond to me a little bit hallelujah but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms, which means songs, and hymns, praise the Lord, which is songs, and spiritual songs, okay, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. He's differentiating the psalm, which is the word, the hymns being uh, sort of the doctrine brought into the word, and the spiritual songs being those songs that apply principles of scripture into the word, uh, into the psalm, pardon me. Singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always. Everybody say always. Anybody got a thankful heart? Praise the Lord. For all things, all things, not just the things you like, but all things. Can you be thankful for the hard times because they make you better? Can you be thankful for the difficult times because God was with you? He showed himself strong to you. Can you be thankful for the hard times when you were clammed up, shut down on God, but he still forgave you and loved you afterwards? Give thanks always for all things unto God 
and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Hallelujah. Would you turn to somebody and say, I appreciate you, love you, I'm thankful for you, something of that nature. I'm thankful for you. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'd like to preach to you today. Make way, make way for the king. Make way for the king. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, I pray that the anointing of the Holy Ghost cause congregation to move the Holy Ghost so strong, so wild, so powerful. Lord, that will speak in our lives, speak in our minds, and may the Holy Ghost just come alive in Jesus' name for a move, a mighty move of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 16. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, Singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Hallelujah. Sounds like we got a little work to do when it comes to our response to the Lord. It isn't a one-way street. It's a two-way street where we're giving praise, thanks, we're responding to God as he's responding to our prayers, as he's sending down blessing, he's sending down anointing, he's sending down wisdom and understanding and direction and the deliverer is working in our life. He's our sa savior, he's our help. When all these things are happening in our lives that should bubble up something with us, that we are filled with the Spirit and the Holy Ghost begins to come out and we begin to speak with tongues, we begin to wave our hands, we shout, we dance, we give thanks to God who has been our deliverer, who has been our savior, he's been our help. Hallelujah. To the Lord be praised. Yeah, to the Lord be praised. Out of Luke 19, we see a scripture that Sunday school kind of went there a little bit. Just, just a smidge. But as he went, they spread their clothes in the way. Praise the Lord. Was well, talking about Jesus when he is on the donkey and he's coming down the uh, the pathway to come into the gates of is, uh, Jerusalem. And when he was come nigh or close, even now at the descent of the Mount of Olives, he's coming down the Mount of Olives. The whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise. Everybody say rejoice and praise God. Woo! Hallelujah. With a loud voice. Hallelujah. Woo! Anybody got a loud voice? Well, Debbie, let's see it. All right. All right. Who else? Who's got a loud voice? Thank you, Jesus. All right. Brother Junior. Oh. Michael? You got a loud voice? Well, it sounds like you need to practice up. Praise the Lord. All right. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Woo. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Somebody. Step out of the norm. Who was that? I figured you'd do it, Eva. Good for you. Praise the Lord. That's impressive. He even had his hand over his mouth a little bit. You know, a little spit shield. There you go. Good job. With a loud voice, they, they, whoo, they saw him coming down the mountainside. Down the mountainside, he comes riding on the donkey, which, is, which was um, in, in a civil situation like that. He is, he is presented on a donkey. But in war, he's presented on a horse. 
So a presentation of a, of a, of a oh, what's it called, uh, like a parade, if you would. Uh, he would do that on a donkey. Uh, a, uh, ancient kings would do things like that, come in on the donkey when it was among his people. But when he was showing his military force come in on a horse, he's coming in on a horse in Revelation, folks. Hallelujah. He's coming in on a horse in Revelation because he's coming not as the meek and lowly and the savior of a church. Hallelujah. But he's coming as a triumphant warrior defeated sin on cross and now taken spoil <laughs> hallelujah in the name of Jesus I thank you Lord thank you Lord Jesus <clears throat> so the scripture goes on uh, that they laid their clothes in the way I love I, I get this do you see that do you see that has your mind went there yet have you thought about when when they're coming down when he's coming down through there they're you ever get so excited you don't know what to do? Sage, Andrew's dog, you come to his house, okay? It's her house, okay? And when you walk in that door, she starts going, hum, 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 and she paces back and forth, hum, 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 and she'll go, and she, what's she find? She finds her favorite toy, okay? So she <laughs> and you think, oh, she's bringing me a toy. And you reach down to grab the toy from him. And, <laughs> and she'll just drop. Because it, the toy, a toy is a release for her. The toy is a release for her. It, it has nothing to do with the toy being something for you or she wants you to play with her. Somehow it's an anxious release. These people, they're looking for something to recognize his ma ma majesty. So what did they do? They pulled off that jacket, the cloak. It's for, it's for presentation. Pulls off the cloak. Lay it on the ground. In his directive as he's coming down. Riding on the donkey, right? He is laying. They are laying their thing. But there's a whole, uh, the other scripture tells us that they're going over to the side. And then just instead of just putting their coats down, they're waving palm branches. And they're saying, Hosanna. Hosanna, which is uh, a a praise word. Everybody say praise word. Because why? He's praise worthy. He's praise worthy. And they're saying, Hosanna is the king that comes in the name of the Lord. And they lay that, their palm branches in the road. They're waving him high. And he's, they're walking on, this, on, their, on their cloaks, on their coats. And they just kind of ride in on the donkey you see it? Did I help you see it? See, the thing is, is the scripture has to come alive to you sometimes. Sometimes you have to get into it. You know, not everything is animated for you like TV is. Okay, if, if you are a reader, you'll be the first to tell us that the book is always better than the movie. Because the book tells you there's more to the imagination. So it happens in your imagination. It comes off the page through words. The book, but not, nothing's better than being there in person. So here, here they're waving their palm branches, walking across. He's riding. And they are responding. There is, a, there is a, a directive today in, there's two voices being heard. There's one voice that says, you know, church ought to be a place that's very respectful, very reserved, a place where it's kind of 
calm, and, and everybody puts their head kind of into the, you know, the, the reverence of it. Okay, if, if that's really what you want, you might want to try out one of these, you know. Pray for the pants. Not me. <laughs> not me. I'm not so chill. I like, to, I like to get in it. I like to feel it. I like to move it, move it. <laughs> right? I like to get into this thing. Why? Because it's alive. It's powerful. It's spiritual. It's anointed. I feel the reverence in it, and the reverence is not one where I have to be quiet. It's one where I have to yell, Hosanna! Glory to God in the highest! I recognize that he's coming down that hill as my triumphant deliverer. They didn't know the pathway he was taking, but they knew what that represented. He was going to come off of that hillside and be a deliverer for them. Well, Jesus said, I didn't come to fight the battle. I come to deliver from sin. That anyone who is troubled with sin in their lives, Anyone who is bound, anyone that something has attached and gripped hold of them and will not let go of them. I'm talking about Holy Ghost filled, unholy ghost filled. I'm talking about the saint that's troubled, they cannot get past it. It seems to be a difficult wall that has faced them up. I want you to know that Jesus can walk through the wall. Nothing is impossible for him. And nothing is impossible for you if you believe. So that scripture grabs a hold of my spirit. And I agree with that. And you know what? I can praise him in advance. That's when the preaching's happening and the preacher's saying, God can do this. God can do it in your life. That's when you get the vision. The light of God shines on your spirit. You get the vision and you have an understanding that I'm not going to die in my despair. I'm going to rise up. I'm going to be victorious over this problem. God has got my answer. God has got my heart and mind in, in his mind. He's got a plan for me. I'm going to be delivered. I'm going to be set free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we get excited when we see what God can do. Amen. Praise the Lord. So the scripture goes on to say that the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen. They had witnessed Jesus turn water into wine, heal dead people, or raise dead people to life. They have watched him heal the blind. The, the guy who could not talk or hear now hears and talks. The guy who can't walk is now walking around following Jesus as he's coming through the pathways. He's changed people's lives around. They recognize that and they worship. We've seen it too. We need to be worshipers too. When he comes into the house, we need to be the first to be on our feet saying, I recognize him. The deliverer is coming on the hill. Woo! I recognize him. He's my God. He's my deliverer. Woo! They were hollering, blessed be the king that cometh in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Somebody praise him. Yeah, da 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 da
Glory in the high. Glory in the high. Recognize this statement. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Neither one of those touch you. Do you hear that? Neither one of those touch you. That is you responding to him. In other words, it's almost like saying, God, I want you to have a good night's rest. I want you to have a good day. You know, you know a genuine response, right? When you say, when you say, well, uh, hey, have a great day. I appreciate, I appreciate you helping me. And they say, yeah. That's not much of a response, is it? Does it sound thankful? Does it sound uh, appreciative? Does it sound like they even made anything more than a grunt? But when someone says, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate you giving me the opportunity. I appreciate that you stopped by. I appreciate that you came to have dinner with us here. Thank you so much, and we want you to have a good night. Does that sound like somebody appreciated you came into their store? Somebody appreciated that you stopped by their house? Somebody appreciated that you thanked them? God has poured into your life so much. Are we going, uh uh-huh? Yeah, about time. I've been serving God for 20 years. About time I got a blessing. About time I, I... you know, I've been, I've been going to church for, uh, for three services. It's about time that everything in my life went away. Oh, no, 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 no. He's, he's waiting for a response. He's wanting to know that if you, see, he said to them, we noticed this in Sunday school this morning, he said to them that Jonah would be, as Jonah was in the well three ni- days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the belly of the earth. Okay? And he said, this is going to be a sign to them. That's the only sign you're going to get. But the key to that is you have to recognize, you have to believe it. And if you're not looking for it, you may not recognize it. If you are, in the, in the Hebrews, some of them were glad he was gone and thankful it was over. And whenever they said that he's resurrected, they scoffed at it. They didn't believe it. They said, he said he raised himself from the grave, so we better put guards at the door. They put their guards at the door. He's still resurrected. They still left. Or he still left. They didn't believe it even though they took precautions. But there were some that believed. There were some who agreed. And I'm telling you, you're looking for God to do something. God's looking for somebody that has some faith. Someone who will praise him in advance. Someone who will recognize him as he's coming down the hill. Hallelujah. As their deliverer before he's ever delivered. Someone who recognizes the steps of the righteous are walking into the pathway of their lives. That God is blowing into their spirits. And when you're seeing God move, when you're seeing God work, that you don't wait till it's done, till he says it is finished. You start right away. (laughs) Oh, Santa. (laughs) Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. You start responding by taking some things off of your life. Hallelujah. And laying them down before the Lord. Hallelujah. You start responding by giving uh, your lip service but your heart service. Hallelujah. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God. Everybody say amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It teaches us in the scriptures that we should be worshipers of God. 
And so if we'll go to Psalm 150, Psalm 150, it teaches us some of the ways to praise the Lord. It says, praise the Lord, or praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Now, you know that you are the house of God, right? If you're waiting to come here to praise God, you're missing the point. Your life should always be a praise. Now, do I think that this is, uh, this is insignificant and not necessary? Absolutely not. I am a firm believer that people should be in the house of God whenever the doors are open. That this ought to be a place that only, not only that we come, we bring our families, we bring those that we're witnessing to, we bring those that we're trying to see God touch their lives and be a witness in their lives. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. A firmament is kind of like the clouds. The atmosphere. Well, if God is everywhere and God is all powerful, then I can praise him anywhere and everywhere in his power. I'm recognizing him moving, but that doesn't mean I won't praise him when he's not, for I know his power will soon work on my behalf. Can you praise him? Anybody got a praise in your spirit? Anybody got a loud voice for a God that's done great things? That you know he's got your situation under control? Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Hallelujah. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psalmstry and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Woo! Hallelujah. Praise him with stringed instruments. Praise him uh, and organs. Uh, That's kind of like an organ. It's got organ noises. Praise him. Upon the loud cymbals, got those. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals, got those. Let everything that hath breath, we got those. Let everything that hath breath, praise the Lord. We got that. We got that. You got breath, right? You? You got breath? My twin baby girls were born in a sack. Mama's feeding them. Within that sack, there, and they caught this on that uh, ultrasound. I wanted to call it Instagram. They called it on ultrasound, okay? And she's, she's practicing breathing. The brain has told the baby to practice breathing. Even though there's no oxygen, I'm aware of. It's all a neurological preparation for what's going to happen when she comes out. And when she comes out, she's going to breathe, but she's not real good at it yet. They were young, so they had gave them a steroid shots so their lungs would produced but they weren't completely there so they had to put the CPAP on oxygen on at one point and then they and then now they're off all of that and now they're trying to get them in their seat so that they can take the two-hour drive home Raleigh has passed the test she has passed the test but Jubilee as of the last time I heard has not what Oh, Raleigh's coming home. Woohoo! <laughs> Praise God. I didn't know that. Jubilee can't take the whole breath yet. She falls into the lower categories of her oxygen. So they have to wait till she's better at breathing. 
but she's breathing. She's got breath. She's had breath from day one. She's practiced from the womb. Everything that hath breath, praise ye the Lord. God's, God's got this covered. Well, I'm not much of a praiser, you know. I'm kind of just backward. I'm just me, you know. I don't care what your excuse is. Everything, that's what the scripture says, everything that has breath. If you don't want to praise him, just go ahead and hold your breath till you die. But go ahead and praise the Lord. Because yeah. And I got news for you. Even when you die, you are going to bow your knee and praise him. Some people say, oh, well, I don't praise God. I'm no weakling. Oh, you will. You will. You'll bow and you won't. It's possible you won't want to, but you will have to. And you won't like that. Why not just choose to do it now? If he's got that kind of authority and that kind of power, why not just do it now? Why not align yourself with one who has been so good, so great, has given you children, has given you a life, has given you family, has given you hope, has given you education, uh, uh, comprehension in your mind, who allows you to breathe, has wonderful things all around you, drive miracles in you, and you have... Uh, your life is, is testimonial of miracles. Right? Right? I need some apostolics to help me. Right? Yes. Amen. I'm talking about a move of the Holy Ghost in your life. I'm talking about God working in your life. He's worthy of your praise. Amen. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Do it right now. Yes. Woo! Psalm 149 says, praise ye the Lord. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to read this, and I want you to kind of act it out. I acted out the, the thing, so you kind of act it out. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. And his praise in the congregation of the saints. All right. Now, you guys just put yourself in the, in the place of Israel and the children of Zion. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let me, let, me just, uh, let me just speak to you, okay? You know what's really sad about that, that this, what was just displayed? Is that if I said, does anybody know the boot scoot boogie? There would be one or two people who would have stood up and done it that did not stand up to praise the Lord and dance. If I would have said, do you know the twist? Do you know the waltz? There may have been somebody who would have stood up and did it. But we have guarded ourselves about worshiping God in the way he has asked us to do it. I'm, gonna say, I'm not saying it's your fault, but I'm saying it's your fault. <laughs> because you have choice. It's your choice. You can either do the boot scoop boogie. I don't know how to do it. I have no clue. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's the Chuck E. Cheese dance. Chuck E. Cheese dances. Oh, yeah, bring on the buffet. <laughs> Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and the harp. Wang a dang 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 dang. Woo! Thank you, Buck. For the Lord.
taketh pleasure in his people. That speaks to me. That speaks to me. Why do I do it? Why do you do it? Because the Lord takes pleasure in his people. It pleases God. It's difficult to make a fool out of yourself. But it's a matter of how you represent or present in your own mind praising the Lord. Is it truly making a fool of yourself? Or is it making a fool in front of everybody else? People who get, a, get uh, drunk and, and they slobber and I've seen it all. Okay. They, take, they take somebody else's wife home. People who take drugs, who are destroying their veins and their, and their futures? Is it the people who are so tight in their lives that they don't have anything wrong with them? Dinah was up at Carmel for Jenna's birthday. Today's Jenna's birthday, right? Yeah, Jenna's birthday. So she's up at Carmel, and she said this, this place was just majestic. And it's a gorgeous place. Everything's just incredible. And there's this lady out on her um, balcony, and she's drinking coffee. And she's describing, and she says, you know, who lives in this kind of place? And I, the first thing, first thing, call it the Holy Ghost if you want to. I thought, the lonely the broken, the sad, the empty. That lady may not have been broken, sad, or lonely, or empty, but that's who's living around us. Sad, broken, lonely, and empty. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Aren't you blessed today? Whew. Hallelujah. I'm going to read this real quick, okay? Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing along upon their beds. Either at night or in the morning. What was my song this morning? Remember my song? Sing a new song. No, that wasn't it. I lift my hands. That's the song for this morning. Laying on my bed. And I sang it out loud. I didn't have to worry about waking up Allie. I didn't have to worry about waking up a dog. It gets easier. I didn't have to worry about waking up promise because it takes a lot to wake up promise. <laughs> Praise is what I do when I want to get close to you. I lift my hands in praise. Praise is who I am. I will praise him while I can. My hand. Bummer. I don't know that. I lost that part. To praise you through the good and the bad. I'll praise you. Will you stand with me? Whether happy or sad, I'll praise you. Whether I'm in bed, whether I'm at work, whether I'm driving down the road. 
whether I'm broken, whether I'm broke, whether I'm discouraged, whatever the problem is, I'm going to praise you through the good and the bad. I'm going to praise you when I grab up my twin baby girls and hold them up close to me and look in their eyes. I'm going to praise you when I grab... uh, babies in the church and a hug on them and love on them and, and worship God. Navy, that was what the name I was trying to come up. I looked at Navy the day and tears just welled up in my eyes. I was so thankful for that beautiful child and the, the smile on her face and the joy in her eyes. Hallelujah. Oh, isn't God amazing? Isn't he worthy of your praise? Hey, would you care to give us some words on that song, Cody? Hallelujah. Because I know God is moving in this room. He's moving and he's coming down, ascending into the staircase of your life. And the key, the question is, are you going to just look up at the guy? Who's the weird guy on the donkey? Or are you going to go, oh, my It's happening right before my eyes. Oh my, the deliverer is here. The one to make it all change. My life is about to be changed. My life is about to be renewed. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. He's coming into my life. I'm going to tear off this trouble. I'm going to tear off this garment of humanity, this cloak of darkness in my life, and I'm going to lay it before him and watch him walk in closer into my life. Would you welcome him? See, that's what your praise is. You're welcoming the Lord. Lord, have your way. And he takes pleasure in that. Would you like to please the Lord today? Would you raise your hands? Would you magnify the Lord? Would you step out of your pew today? If you don't know the truth, if you don't know God's way, the truth and the life of Jesus Christ, step out today. Come to this altar. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Be baptized in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. But if you do and struggle, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on down. Hallelujah. Make way for the king. He's on his way right down the track right now. He's going to step into your life. He's going to step into your situation. He's going to bring deliverance. He's going to bring peace. He's going to bring healing. He's going to bring uh, what you need. You, what you need. He's got it. And don't tell me he's not able. You've come too long. Too. He can do it. Too late. You come too late to tell me God can't do it. Come on, let's respond. He's here. Do you feel him? Do you feel the Lord? He's who I am. I will praise him while I can. I'll bless him at all times. Whether happy or sad, I praise you in all that I go through because praise is what I do. And I owe it all to you. (laughs) Praise you. Come on, close your eyes. See it for yourself. See God coming down into your life. See Him speaking into your situation. Breaking. Turning over tables of this world that have built up into your worship spot. He's tearing it away. He's throwing it to the side. He's speaking truth into your life. He told told Peter, he said, Peter, Satan desires to sift you as wheat, but I have prayed for you. He's prayed for you. 
He knows what you need. Come on. Can you thank him because he's good to you? Can you thank him because he saved you? Can you thank him? Can you praise him because he's the king of kings, the Lord of lords? Yeah, praise him in the morning, praise him in the noontime, praise him, oh praise him, praise him when the sun goes down. Come on, you need a breakthrough? I, I dare you to praise him. Well, praise him in the morning, praise him in the noontime, praise him, praise him. Praise Him when the sun goes down. Yeah, praise Him. Praise Him in the morning. Praise Him in the noontime. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him when the sun goes down. God bless you. Thank you for coming today. Shake somebody's hand. Encourage each other in the Lord. Hallelujah. We're blessed. We're in Christ C at 6 o'clock tonight. We want to shake heaven tonight. We're going to shake this place tonight in Jesus' name.